Shalom and welcome to PowerPoints. My scripture today is uh, a scripture that's very personal for me. It's John 10.10. 10, and it says that the thief, red letter Jesus, the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and destroy. I have come that you might have life and that they may have it more abundantly. You know, the, um, uh, the reality of this scripture came, Christy and I, many years ago, were coming back from a conference in Fort Worth, Texas. And uh, we were driving down the freeway, uh, and we were heading back up to Oklahoma. And uh, the Lord had spoken a word to us and, and said, You tell my people I, did, I put nothing on them but my best. And then this scripture came to our uh, remembrance of John 10.10. 10 that the enemy comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. And so in that same thought, saying, you tell my people what I put on them was my best. Well, what did he put on us? The blood of Jesus. He put his son on us. His son expunged our sins. His son redeemed us from the curse. And he says, you tell my people I couldn't have done any more. And, and the reality of it is this, is this, in a spiritual realm legality, is and I like being legalistic about this one drop of Jesus's blood one drop when he was in the garden of Gethsemane and he was praying to his father and he said uh, if possible take this cup and he literally sweat blood and there is a medical condition where blood actually comes out of the forehead literally do you understand that that one drop of blood he could have taken it with his finger and put it on the earth and redeemed the entire planet all the people one but there is so much power in the blood of Jesus but we have to understand that we never give credit to the enemy uh, for what God does but also do not give credit to God for what the enemy does don't get it mixed up this is a clear line right here the enemy Satan he comes except to steal kill and destroy sickness poverty disease is from the enemy I give you permission to hate the enemy. A lot of times people, I'll say that in services. People go like, oh my gosh. Yes, I hate the enemy. When I look at people dying with sickness and disease and I watch people die unsaved, I hate it. I don't like it. Uh, if you've ever been with a small child that's sick, you'll, you'll realize the devil, it's okay to hate him and love God. With a righteous indignation, we condemn the works of the enemy in Yeshua's name. God bless you and know that your, your life is to be abundant in Christ. I'll see you tomorrow.